Hello, in this video today we will show you how to import and export files from the new Counter-Sketch streaming. As you can see now, you can open your Counter-Sketch streaming from your browser. This is the main page where you will start to design and this is the page where you will manage all your, all your files. So the first thing that I will do is just go to Matrix Goal. I have this file and the first thing that uh, I want to do is just get this file ready to import and export the, the renders. So I will select uh, one, two, three, and I will add them in this layer. And then I will also get this and this, and this and this, and I will import it in this layer. The reason why I'm doing this is because Counter Sketch will recognize that these stones are in different layers, so we will be able to apply different materials on these stones. All right, now the next thing that I need to do is just save this file. I will save it in my desktop. Very important, as a default, you will have save as a Rhino 7. Because we want to open it in, in Counter Sketch, we will uh, save it as a Rhino 5. Because Counter Sketch is running on Rhino 5, so we want Counter Sketch to be able to read this model. I will save it. Counter Sketch file name, save. And now what we will do is just go to the Counter Sketch uh, file browser and start to do, uh, start to upload the, the file. So I will go to Oriole and what I will do from here is just upload the file. I will select the file. We can find the file in the desktop. This is the one, and now I will upload it. We have a progress bar, and now as you can see, it's telling us that successfully uploaded the counter sketch file. All right. Very important to to notice is that the file is not here, but the file is uh, in the cloud. It's saved in the cloud. Now what we have to do is just claim it from counter sketch. So to do that, we will go to the freehand parts, user parts. I already have here two different models, but now I want to claim the one that I uploaded into the cloud. So as you can see from the home folder, you need to go to projects, Oriole, this is where I save it. And now we don't have it here. The reason why is because we are looking just for counter sketch files. If I go to Rhino document, there we go. This is the file that we are looking at. So I click on open. And as you can see with this thumbnail, uh, we already have the file in this folder. So I double click and now we just get it here. Once we have it here, as, a, as I showed you before, because I add the stones in different layers, now we can start to change the layers with different colors. So we can go like this on this one, something maybe like this on this one, and on this one, let's see if we can find something in the middle. All right, so we have different pink tonalities on this ring. Now, once we have it like this, what we can do is just get the render. It's so, uh, worth to tell that now, because I have save, save renders to the folder, from the moment that I render, I will get the renders saved in the portfolio where, are, where we are. So now we are in the Oreo portfolio. This means that I will get this render directly in that uh, folder. So we will get three different renders, one side view render, and now we'll go for the last one, that will be more like a top view. So now you will see the, the last one. As I said, because in the settings, in the render settings, we had that automatically save it in the folder where we are, Oriole. Now, if I go to the, to the file browser, when I go to, well, just to show you Oriole and renders, here we are getting all the renders that I have taken. 
right? So this is the first one, the second one, and the third one, all right? So, so far what we have done is just get a file ready matrix call and upload it in our counter sketch streaming. This is something that before wasn't we wasn't able to do it, now we can do it. Now what is the next step? Now that I have these files that I have taken, these pictures, what I want to do is to download them into my local machine. There is two ways to do it. So if you want just to save one or two, you can go one and two. So I download it into my uh, downloads folder. What happens if I have a bunch and I want to download them all in one? So I can just select all of them. As you can see here, I have this second that it's uh, saying package manager. And now what I will do is just get all of this and create an archive. So I just go create archive. I will call it 03 create. So now I'm creating the archive. There we go. We have the new archive with this cool uh, flag saying new. So I will download it. Done. And now what I need to do is just go to my downloads. And here we go. You can see the ones that I just download one by one. This is the first one. And the second one. Or you can go to the zip folder that we have created. And we have the three that we, um, we just uh, downloaded all in once. All right, so I think that now with this video, you can see what you can uh, achieve with a matrix goal and counter sketch, very easy. You can start to load uh, the files that you design in matrix goal and just present it to your customers with counter sketch streaming. So you can make any change that your customers need in front of them to help you sell your jewelry. So I hope you like this bundle. Uh, if you have any more questions, just contact us into, in Gemvision. We will be help, happy to help you. Thank you.